YouTube channel. My event, Cletus and Cars, is just around the corner on November 4th down here in Bradenton, Florida. Come out, have a good time. We're doing demolition drag racing. It's going to be a good time. More information in the description below. What's up, guys? Today we are at Bradenton Motorsports Park, the same place we're having my event, Cletus and Cars, in just two weeks. Tonight we're going to be doing some testing with Leroy the Savage here. You guys just saw him on the dyno. Made good power, but what really matters is if we can go down the track. The tune's pretty much set up. There's a couple things I gotta do as far as the two-step and the boost by gear and the laptop. It's definitely gonna be a learning experience today. I'm not expecting anything crazy, but I'm sure we'll beat our record, which still stands at 998. It's gonna be hard not to expect great numbers today, but we're just kinda doing some base tuning because one of the guys from ProFab is gonna help us on our next time out setting up the suspension and other things like that. We're not even gonna worry about that today. Today we're just worried about getting the car down the track and making some clean passes on low boost. But we got a little bit of work to do before then, so we're gonna get right to that. All right, it is time to make a pass on the Holly Dominator. Dynoing went well, but every time we come to the track for the first time after a dyno session, it's kind of tough to dial on the car. So this is literally like the, the first pass Leroy's ever made quarter mile besides the one time when it made a sketchy pass on unbalanced tires and I think this is gonna be crazy. The boost is really low so it should be pretty tame for this first one but I bet you it's gonna be fast. Let's do it. Ready? Okay, in the car, suiting up. First pass in like a month so hopefully I can just do my thing. I don't want to miss any gears right off the bat. I just want to make it smooth, clean, easy pass. a great start there that was wastegate pressure and it went 142 so i mean there's so much room for improvement it's insane basically that is the slowest leroy can go because that is as low of boost we can run literally unless we put weaker wastegate springs in it so did you hear how short i was shifting to yep it was stupid short so yeah i guess i'll put a little bit of too. boost in it and i'll try and actually shift correctly on this next pass but damn off to a good start Hell yeah. Oh yeah. And that was 10-1 at 142. So I guess it's a little slow. I kind of wanted to beat my record on my first pass, but I can't complain with a 10-1 on wastegate pressure, short shifting. So let's do it on this next pass. That was a 1-6-60 foot two, so not all that fast. There's so much room for improvement and that's a good thing. All right, so we looked at the tune and everything looked good. I did short shift big time. So this time I got to be a little bit better with my driving. We're now gonna use the two step to leave. We're a little bit into boost, nothing crazy. So again, we gotta feel this car out, so 
there's a lot of room to improve and we're gonna see what we can do with some small changes. All right, second pass, fingers are crossed. Fifty-four, and she is barely turned up. Hell yeah, dude! Dude, that was Hell, sick. I'm in parachute range. I could have pulled the parachute on that, and it wouldn't have been a noob thing to do. 150 plus requires a parachute, and I, I finally was able. I was finally in range to actually use mine. Dude, the 60 foot wasn't bad. It felt weird because of the gap between the uh, the when I come off the two step, and like there's some room in the pedal. I gotta adjust my clutch stop. But man, it, it was going. A uh, 1460 foot is pretty solid. Yeah, we're in the one fours for the 60 foot. Yes, dude, that's great. That's the second pass on the Holly Dominator. Dude, from my point of view, that looked like a super easy pass too. Dude, it was easy, but it felt like it was breaking up a little bit up top. So I definitely want to look at the data log and see what we got going on there. Got a new record, Coop. Hell yeah. All right, so right now we're gonna put some Ignite E90 in Leroy. That's what it runs on. And man, it has saved me a couple times. The reason it sounded kind of weird was because uh, it, sound, it was almost like it was misfiring. I had some plug wires touching, so we made some adjustments to the plug wires. Otherwise, everything else looked good. Oil pressure's good, boost was consistent. It did spin a little bit in first, so I think the problem with that is it's coming off the two-step before the clutch grabs, so I'm gonna adjust my clutch stop. Just a couple little things, and then we'll go back out there and give it another shot, but can't believe it, nine, five. I figured we do like, 10, 9, 9, 9, 8, 9, 7. Dude, that pass was crazy and it barely turned up. So, man, I'm excited. I'm really pumped. So, we're gonna fill it up with gas, do a couple other things, and make another pass.
saw anything like that in my entire life. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, that is fast. I mean, I'm speechless. I am speechless. I pulled the parachute late because when I started braking, I was like, I am, I'm going fast. I was like, I need to, I need to slow down. It, you're supposed to pull the parachute like while you're going through the traps, but I didn't even realize. Oh my gosh. Wow. Can't wait to see that time. Cannot wait to see that time. I gotta throw the parachute in the car now. touching and they can interfere with each other so just fixing that and it didn't misfire on the big end i did short shift third unfortunately how's it look is it good new record it's new record good all right i shut down the car so we can talk a little bit about tonight because it was way more than i expected so obviously in the beginning of the video i said I didn't have very high expectations for this, which meant, which for me meant coming out here, running, you know, probably a high nine or something and just getting the car working so that when I have the whole crew out here, the tuners and the guys from ProFab to help tune the suspension, we would really run some crazy times. So without touching anything but the laptop and the plug wires and throwing ice in the ice box, we just went 9-3 at 151 and I accidentally short shifted third gear. So I had a 1.34 60 foot, but a 134 is an awesome 60 foot for a stick shift car. And I did not think Leroy would be going that deep tonight with a 134. Fastest eighth mile pass as well went 6.049, which is pretty damn good for this car. And that was at 111 miles an hour, but man, 9.3 at 151 miles an hour. That's our quickest pass yet and 154 miles an hour was our fastest pass yet. So here's a time slip, guys. Hopefully you can see that. I mean, this time slip is fast, but I still know that there's so much room for improvement. I think Leroy is gonna have no problem getting into the eights. And now I can't freaking wait to come back to the track and get that eight. It's my first time out with it on a new computer and it by far exceeded mine and Cooper's expectations. We did not come here thinking we were gonna be anywhere close to that. All I can do is give a big thank you to the guys at ProFab Performance Plus, and also a huge thank you to the guys at Holly Performance, and of course, Jeremy, my tuner, and Kevin from KSR Fabrications. Between building the car, getting the equipment as far as the computer, we also got some injectors from Fuel Injector Clinic, and then putting it all together and tuning it, things went so smooth and all the guys that work with are amazing so thank you to them i gotta say bradenton motorsports park did a killer job with the prep tonight and this is where cletus and cars will be hosted in two weeks you guys gotta come we're doing demolition drag racing burnout contest you'll see leroy running the c7 cooper it's gonna be a great time but on that note with my personal best time slip in my hand i'm gonna end off this video thanks for watching do it for dale and we will see you later Well, dang, hope you enjoyed your time on the Cletus McFarlane YouTube channel. Check out some of our t-shirts. We've got the Do It For Dale t-shirt, the Do It For America t-shirt, and of course the Twin Turbskies t-shirt, all of which can be found in the link in the description below. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe and check out this video that we posted earlier this week.